Here's the timing on the next storm. Uh, that beautiful weather does not last. Friday into Saturday, we've got a significant icing event. The impact region will be from eastern Georgia, Carolinas into the Virginia. So um, this is going to bring the possibility of very slick travel and also possibly some power outages. So the setup here is that the front will move eastward, but it stalls. As it stalls, that's going to allow a secondary low pressure system to develop, and that's where the mess is created, snow and ice combination. But we focus really, um, the snow we can sort of handle. These, these regions don't normally see a lot of winter weather, but the snow is a little easier to handle. The ice is going to be the problem. So where we see this winter storm setting up, um, it, it delivers the Arctic air first, and then the front comes in. All of that cold air has been funneled into the Carolinas. It's in place. And the timing, again, is going to be late on Thursday as we bring uh, into Friday. And then by Saturday morning, we've got this ice in place. So temperatures tonight are fine, 40 to 45 degree range. But after midnight, the winter storm watch that goes into effect. And this is what we wait for. The icing events also can happen very slowly. Um, the ice sort of accumulates in these layers. And so if you have light rain that's stalled out over the freezing surfaces, that's where you get the glazing, turns everything into an ice rink and so the precipitation that arrives um, about an inch of liquid that could result in some big problems there in the south. Let's shift everything, slide it up into the northeast, and you can see that we've got the future track bringing that front. Uh, it looks like the low will be just to the west of New York City, but as it slides eastward, this is going to bring first some cold rain for the Delmarva and then snow off to the north side of this system. It's a quick mover. It's going to push out off the coast pretty quick, but we get about a four hour window. So just into the New York City and metro area, I think we get a little bit of snow here. It's enough to create a nuisance. So three, four hours, snow comes down really quick. If we get a snow rate of a half inch per hour, that could give us two inches. Up in the Hudson Valley, one to three parts of Connecticut, you could get locally more. But what I expect here along the I-95 corridor is a nuisance event. It's going to make for tri tricky travel. Um, the other thing I would say is I wouldn't put down the salt right away because you could could get some rain there in the Delmarva, and that will just wash that all away. Instead, expect an early morning, maybe a little extra time tomorrow to shovel things out of the way. Not a lot of snow, just enough to slow you down. That's going to make everything slick. And sometimes it's outside your own front door. That's the biggest headache, you guys. Uh, Craig, you know, seeing a little storm system come in like this, people get excited for big snow. Doesn't look like it happens. Instead, it just slows everybody down. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.